the wonder of all wonders, to share life with our greatest creation, you. You are the most awesome of all our creations. I can't believe it's been almost 2,000 years since my last walk the earth, and here we are, still spending time together. You know, it reminds me of the time I met my disciples on the Sea of Galilee. I remember the day well. It's when I met Peter. He was a hard man, sturdy, weather-worn and tired. But I wish you could have seen the look on his face when I said to him, toss your net into the water one more time. His eyes looked at me as if to say, who is this fool? <coughs> but I didn't command him. I simply suggested that he follow my lead. Mm. I know when he looked in my eyes, he saw my love. He saw the power of the Holy Spirit within me. Sure, he got a net full of fish out of the deal, <laughs> but that wasn't a miracle that day. The real life-changing event was the change inside of Peter. When he stopped what he was doing and just looked my way. I wish you could have seen how his heart of stone broke in front of me. How in that moment, all the self-centered self thoughts that he had melted into the river of my love. I smiled so broadly because I saw in my mind all the moments that we would share together and the destiny that was unfolding. The destiny for believers forever. I had 11 more disciples like Peter. <coughs> well, I must admit, I had fun choosing this mismatched bunch of ragamuffins. <laughs> but they weren't all fishermen. They were carpenters, professionals, and there's even a treacherous, traitorous tax collector. Ooh! <laughs> there were also many women who played a crucial role in this life-changing event. It was women who followed me from Galilee and took care of all my needs. It was women who stayed at the foot of the cross until I gave my last breath as a man. And it was to women that I first revealed myself after I had risen from the dead. I think it's safe to say that these men and women were in the right place at the right time. You are my sheep. I know it's not a very flattering comparison, but there's a reason for that. Because sometimes you do very unflattering things. <laughs> But you need a shepherd, not just any shepherd, a good shepherd. You need someone to lead you to green pastures and to still waters. Someone to walk with you through the valley of the shadow of death, to protect you from the wolves of this world. And when you wander away, when you go too far from home, and find yourself entangled in thorns. When you cry out at night and there's no one will hear you, you think it's hopeless. That's when you need someone to come after you. To go into the mountains and search through the rocky places, to search high and low until finally I find you. 